Hi guys, today I thought I'd show you how to make this rustic star decoration for Christmas. Um, it's pretty easy and just takes a little bit of time. The first thing you will need is um, a bag of clothespins. You can get a pack of 50 at Walmart for 97 cents. You will need a bottle of Eileen's Tacky Glue some cardboard or felt or some heavy cardstock of some sort um, a wood finished stain marker this is in um, dark walnut some little bubbles or bling or whatever it is that you want to put on it to, for a little extra something something um, these I got at Walmart for 97 cents which is a steal and tweezers to help get you get these little teeny tiny things onto the ornament as well as a glue gun and a glue stick. The first thing you will need to do is take eight clothes pins and take them apart. To do this you just twist it in the opposite direction that these little clips are on and they pop right off then what you do is you put a little bit of, of the Eileen's tacky glue right along there just a teeny tiny bit and put your clothes pins together and let them sit hold them tight and let them sit until they're dry until they dry now you want to make sure that you don't put so much glue on that it beads out the sides because when it does and it dries the stain won't adhere to where the glue is. Once you get this all done, it will look like these. As you can see, I only have seven here because I have already stained one. As you can see, you see that spot right there? There was a little glue there. It didn't dry. I don't mind that. I actually kind of like it. Um, if you want, you could even sand some of the edges and make it look even more rustic. Now that is not all glue. That is just the way the wood is, as you can see, it comes around a little bit. And I love that. I think it gives it more character. <clears throat> so literally what I did was I just popped this off. And it's like a marker under there. You shake it up first before you take the top off. And then, and then you press down on the, th on the Q-tip or Q-tip, <laughs> clothespin, and just literally just color it, color it on, and then just wait for them to dry. I would suggest wearing a glove, and as you can see, wearing a glove for the hand that is going to be holding the clothespin. I'm going to do that, and then I'll be right back and show you the next step. I have my clothespins all stained. Next thing what I did was I put a good bit of glue on my little cardboard piece. It doesn't have to be a circle, it can be a square. Um, just you want to make sure that your inside proportion of your inside portion of your clothespins will cover it. Then what I did was I put glue on the insides of two of these and matched them up end to end. And then I stuck two in there with glue on the insides stuck in end to end. Now what I'll do is I'll put glue on this side and this side, this side and this side of the clothespins and I will stick them right in here and then I will wait for them to dry. Now the clothespins are not all cut the same so they are not going to match up perfectly and that's okay. Um, it's part of what gives it its charm. So I will get this done and then we'll finish up. Now I've got it all together, so what I'm going to do is put little tiny dollops of glue at the intersections and just wherever I think I might need some bling. Um, I was thinking when I was staining this and getting it all together that you could even use like a big button there, a wooden button or actually any kind of button if you wanted to to cover this up and actually probably make it even a little bit stronger. Um, and I was thinking if you use felt for the little intersection that they're glued to on the back, 
You could even make this into a coaster or a hot pad. You, I can see these tucked in on a mantle in with some greeneries and some LED candles. That'd be really cute. I can see them spray painted um, silver and or gold and done that way. I can see them hanging from a teenage girl's room ceiling or on the walls in all different colors of fun colors. Um, I can. There's a lot of possibilities to do with these cute stars. They're so structural. They they lend themselves to that. Okay, so I'm going to get the bling on and I'll show you my finished product. And there she is completed. Now, see how the glue puddles up underneath a little bit? Don't worry about that. Um, it'll dry clear and you'll, nobody will ever notice. Um, I'm going to let this sit and dry and I'll show you how it looks in my tree. Hopefully you can see this. Um, I had to close my curtains with my trees in front of my windows and... The, the light was just glaring. So in this, if you want, you could add, drill a little hole in one of the um, ends of the star and put a little hanger on it, but I just chose to tuck mine into the branches. And it's been there for a few days, and it hasn't fallen. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope I, you enjoyed my project.